שכאן. Hey, hey, Pratilla, Pratilla, are you and those diddle dailers all right? Did you sleep okay? Oh, oh, aren't they something? You don't know how good it makes me feel when I see another healthy brimful of more babies. I know. They're really sweet when they're just coming up to the 12th born day. What's a born What's day? What's a born day, day Mummy? And you're nearly 12 light and darks. And you're very nice mice. Your dad's right. You're nearly big enough to leave the stiff grass, but not <laughs> quite. Oh! oh. oh no, don't, don't be too quick. I always think that the best thing in the world is a new mouse. Chudley, you told me that one the last time I had babies. And the time before. We knew mice! We knew mice! We knew mice! That's right! Yes, that's right. There is always room in the house for a new mouse. And for lots of new mice. I know I feel a little crowded sometimes, but it would be worth it to see the world just chock-a-block with shiny new baby mice. <laughs> There'll never be too many mice. And well, that's all right for you, Chudley. You don't really do a lot for the babies. I have to eat for them and then feed them. I'm only supposed to have ten in a litter. I had fourteen last time. I have to feed them in two shifts. Well, the food's too good. Hey, that reminds me. I'm starving. What are we doing standing here talking? Let's get down to the eatery and nosh up. I'm hungry too, Chudley, but the babies haven't had all their feed yet. Mum, tell her a minute to get her foot out of my tummy. I can't get enough milk in. He's the one. He's kicking me. Yeah, tell him to get up. His tummy's so swollen and tight, it's going to pop. And I haven't had anything yet. Come on, Snit, let Junior on. Me too, me too. And can somebody wake up Whiffle before he misses another meal? Whiffle, Whiffle. Wake up, Wake Whiffle, up, Whiffle, 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 Whiffle. Wake up. Wake up. I'm not asleep. It's just my eyes aren't open yet. Snit, I said let Junior on. Junior's the runt. He's the smallest. I eat first. Oh, all this noise. You feed those babies and you can catch me up later. Bye, Dad. Oh, Mummy, I've got little itch. Well, the nice thing about being a mouse is that you can keep yourself clean. Everyone can do it. Snip can and Huss and Marmy and Eggbo and Piffle and Flay and Junior and Whiffle and Muffler. Keep your tails clean so you're in touch with the floor and keep cool when you run around. And your feet and your ears too, Ramella, that's right. And it's always so nice to keep it all clean and shiny. Mice are just the cleanest things in the world. And that's why a mouse is just the very best thing there is to be. And that's why every creature in the world wants one. Yes, mice are quality. And attic mice are the best mice in the whole house. Oh. The little tiddly tails are dropping off. In a few minutes I can go and see what Chudley's found to eat. Every creature wants a mouse. Well, mm, Mum will be a little while yet to finishing off the babies. It's just time, probably, <laughs> for me to check that pretty little mouse what's her name and do a quick circuit of the room to perfume, see what new kind of taste they've got in the soap cake tonight. <laughs> you who? I'm sorry to hear about what's his name and the eye bird. Can I come in? Is that you, Chudley? If so, go dance and jig with a Bigfoot. Sniff off! Well, really. It's too crowded here already. Raffers from Passage 2 is here, and Tacky and Scrum from Passage 5. Well, well, okay, sure. <laughs> See you around the eatery, fellows. The last time I tangled with Baxi from the cellar, I nearly lost an ear, not to mention Mum. There'll never be too many mice. Our head count will never suffice. So here's to the hordes that live under the boards. May numbers increase at least twice. <laughs> right. First, the nice drag across the... Ooh, the tummy scratcher. Oh. There'll always be too many rats and spiders and wood lice and bats. Everything in its brood wants to eat all our food. I hope they get caught by the cat. What's going on in the tummy cooler? Hello? Is that somebody? Is somebody in there? Hello? 
Whoever you are, are you drowning in there? Ramena? 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 Can you hear that gurgly noise? What? Shh. Gurgling noise. Shh. All of you. Shh. Don't move. I think it's... cooler. Oh, the smells, the smells. You know, some mice don't seem to get the kick I get out of a turn through the room to perfume. I think it must have to do with me being an attic mouse. We're just a little more sensitive to the world. Just a little more if not. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh, it's the eye bird. Gave me quite a turn. Still, you can't get me here. <laughs> and I can tell Pratilla how brave I was. Beat it, eye bird. You know you can't get me through the invisible wall. <laughs> Go on. Go and find some hick vole. No sense in sitting there staring like that. <laughs> oh, how did I get up here? I know, I know this morning, but I tell you, bird, you'll never catch me on the other side of these walls. No. <laughs> Tales are so sweet when they're asleep. What a pity that they're always at the best just when I have to get up and leave them. What was that? Thought I heard something. They always seem so helpless, they're the little tiddlers, but I am starving. They say this fluff stuff isn't very good for you, but it's worse than puff nuts for not being able to stop. The cat that runs the eatery wants a mouse, the eye bird in the trees craves a mouse, and the Bigfoots with their feetery leave the traps bring touchy teetery, so the dreaded death by cheese can sprong a mouse. I suppose I better get onto the eatery, get some decent food before I fill myself up with this junk. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Always the last stretch before the eatery. It's all very well, Chudley, saying there'll never be too many mice. I love the tittle tailors, but I'm a bit tired. Fat, thin, fat, thin, then fat again. Fifty babies a year. The attic is such an exclusive place to live, but it's an effort. Maybe we should move. Okay, ready for the dash? <gasps> Trat. That cat. It would love to catch a mouse if it could. All right, I'll stick by the usuals. I'll keep to the plasteries and cupboard of plenty. flavour in the death by cheese tonight. Oh, yuck. It's good, of course, that the cheese is always so vile or a lot of innocent mice would get spronged in the thing. It happened to Potsy from the tock clock, though. 
No one knows why, except that he never had much taste, and the tick gong made him oinky. Mmm. Can't smell Chudley. He hasn't been through here tonight. Oh, oh, wish they put the eatery in some other part of the house. Seat rise to keep the tails shiny. Mice don't forget to keep the tails clean. Tiddle tails mice, even though tiny. More tiddle tailors, let's not be mean. <laughs> Chudley, was that you? Give that to Miss. <laughs> Chudley, where have you been? Oh, oh, this is new. This wobbly stuff. <laughs> You smell like you've been wallowing in a nest of lavender soap cake wrappers. Ah, yes. Well, you see, as I was passing by, I heard this thing drowning in the top. Look out! Look what? out! What? Oh. oh, it's that awful baby Bigfoot. It's the second fright like that I've had tonight. I saw the eye bird outside the invil... Do you know, I've never seen the top of a Bigfoot close up. But does it end up looking anything like the way they start out? No! Ah! Oh! Ooh. A nasty feeling about tonight. Everything feels such a oh! close whisker. Do it as fast as I can and make it back to the tittletales. And may I suggest, Chudley, that if you can consider yourself a well bred mouse, you'll come with me. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I don't mind. I'm the smallest. I know it's right. Bye, Ramella. Bye, Muffler. Somebody say bye to Riffler for me when he wakes up. Bye, Raffles. Bye, Huss. Bye, Piffle. Bye. Bye. Listen, Junior, I know how you feel. I would hate to have to do it myself. But I don't have to do it because I am not the runt and you are. All right, I'm going. I'll just go in a minute. Ah! Chudley, it's seen us. Oh, don't be silly, Mum. As long as mice are good, Bigfoots can't see them. They only ever see what mice leave behind. Yuck, it is revolting. Let's change our shift. I think mice shouldn't have to put up with it. Of course, being the early shift does mean we have the choice of the cupboard. With the muesli de la mousli, you might say. It's bad enough to think of that globby, slick, no-tail thing as a baby, but to think of it having a mother, the way the tiddly-tails have you, a mother that feeds it and washes it. Oh, oh, it makes me sick. Be fair, Chutley. I know it's ugly, but it's a baby. It makes me feel... It makes me feel I've got to get back to my babies. There's something wrong, Chutley. I feel they're crying. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, this is even nicer than soap cake. Not good for sharpening the teeth, but it fills you up. Mm. Mm, lovely. Mum, I've got an idea. Let's do something different for a change. Different? Yeah, different. The Bigfoot's gone. Let's go on the uppers. Don't be silly, Chudley. It's against the usuals. What about the cat? He's not watching. Chudley, it's bluffing. Pretending. Pretending to be bored. <laughs> Hey, Mum, it's all right up here. Lots of the same stuff that's in the cupboard of plenty, except spread out more. Chudley, mm. mm. oops, come down now. Think of the tiddly tails. I don't need to. You think the tiddly tails enough for both of us. <laughs> hey, this is a nice smell. Yeah, very high up there. I can still smell the cat. Mm. Oh. No, it's not bothered about me. Chudley, the cat. Um, Help! Hello, hello. What's, what, what, what's this? Oh, 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 mouse, oh, mouse, have I found something up here in the office? Fresh seeds! Ah! What's the matter? Do be. Just a little dip in the air. Oh, no, oh, no. I'll be good. All right, we don't eat this mouse tonight. Help. Where are you? 
Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm top mouse. Judley, quick. I think we're trapped here. <laughs> Something. Go back to sleep, Whiffle. <laughs> Come on, Mum. Let's go to the thrills and spills. Bigfoots are attracted to the wine like like flap dust around a lamp. They'll never see us. Look. Look, they're just still fixed by it. Come on. You nearly ended up as fur pancakes there. Oh, the tinkler's tickly. The cat's gone and the house is ours, the night's young, and look, here we are at the thrills and spills. <laughs> when was the last time you had a ride in the roll hole? Oh, come on, Mum, it'll take your mind off the tiddly tails. Oops. What's that? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I said, oh, sorry. I said I was sorry. shift in a new female. Judley, there's, there's someone in the air. There certainly is. I'm on the upper. Look at me up here. No, something else. Hey, hey, this walk down's really good. <laughs> I think I'll walk up again. Judley, get over here. Oh, what for? Oh. Chudley, get over here. Hello. Oh. How, how do you do? Oh, My name's uh, Bagsy. I'm, I'm, I'm coming on. You. You're delightful. I've, I've just got to get off this contraption. <laughs> Must be a oh. ladder somewhere. Please don't do that. You're not going to get help from a piffler sniffler like him. You're going to like it in the cellar, because you know what we got down there? we got uh, rotten apples. <laughs> I've given you fair oh, warning, Maxie. Thank you. Uh, right, come, come, off, Chudley. I'm busy. Right, you asked for it. Oh, go and clean the cat's teeth, Chudley. Cat? Oh, cat. you say cat? Oh. I'll have you. I'm, I'm Chudley from the attic. And I've been up the cat you, tonight. You are, and here I come. Here I come again. Watch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You watch yourself. Oh, oh, an apple. Face up. Face up. Hey, that's not fair. That's not in the rules. Right, 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 right. Oh, call me. That's it. Right, right. Oh, that's a warning. You didn't well, I? I warned you. Right, you've asked it now, mate. Oh, come, come, come here. Come back here and fight like a mouse. You coward. Oh, Chudley, you are wonderful. I always knew attic mice were superior. Rotten apples. I'd rather soap cake any night. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just find that coward. <laughs> he went this way, I think. D did you see how I bit him in the, um... Where's he gone? Chudley. Oh, I'll, uh... I'll just check on Middlefoot. Judley, I can't take any more of this tonight. I'm going back to the Tiddly Tales. Are you coming or not? Yes, yes, yes. I'll, I'll just make sure he's gone. Must get back. I'm so 
worried. I keep thinking I hear the baby's special squeak. Oh! <laughs> what? Is it time to eat? Go on, Julia, go! Okay, okay, blob creature. Here I come, but I'll tell you something. You're not going to bloggle me without a fight. Go on, Julia. Mum's not back to move us, and if you don't go, we'll all get eaten. Oh, oh, oh mouse, eat you, mouse. Tonight, mouse, eat you. Oh, did you that silly slob to fool around with Chudley the cat meat, eh? <laughs> he went through here. <laughs> You'll pay for this. <laughs> Oh, my little tittle tailors squeaking. Oh, Saved! Oh, I can hear Mummy coming. Yeah! The world moved! Shh! Please, keep still. <laughs> Sniffing after Baxi, I looked up and found myself outside of all places. <laughs> and the eye bird was there, and the cat. And so I, I jumped into this enormous puddle and used my tail as a paddle and swam and swam and swam. I bet you didn't know I could do that. Hmm. I swam and I swam, and when I was about to go under, I found myself on the other side. And there was this family who said they were water voles, whatever that is, but they seemed to make a living catching things in the big puddle. And they took me in, and then they said they were really glad to see me because they had been having trouble with something called a fox, and they needed some help. So I told them about how I had beat up the cat, and I said, maybe I could be of some assistance. That's what I said. So I hatched this plan. I love it. I lo oh, a newsflash. 